Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome to Jersey City Pilates. For today's class, all you need is yourself and 15 minutes. This will be a full body class, perfect to be a standalone class or to add as a warm up for something like maybe a run or if you just uh, wanna pop this on at the end of a different workout. So to start, you're gonna come onto your back and just make sure that you're laying all the way flat on the ground, hair, ponytail, if you have one is out of the way. And you're just going to make a little triangle with your hands and you're gonna place the heels of your hands on your hip bones and your fingertips on your pubic bone. And then take a nice big inhale here Feel your ribs expand wide to the side and gently press back into the ground. So you're really breathing all 360 degrees into your diaphragm. And then on your exhale, you're gonna tuck the tailbone under, feel the low back gently press into the mat as the heels of your hands lower and the tips of your fingers, your pubic bone lift. And then on your inhale, come back to neutral. And then exhale, find that gentle tuck under, that little scoop low back presses towards the floor and then on your inhale find your nice neutral pelvis one more time inhale exhale tuck the tailbone under and then release into your neutral pelvis keeping yourself in a neutral pelvis or if you're working in that pelvic tilt for a reason um you find that that gets you more support through your abdominals by all means do that but whichever you are in you want to keep the same and make sure it is a deliberate choice so Keeping yourself in neutral, you can bring one hand onto your abdominals just to make sure that you're not pressing up into them as you take your movement. So you're going to exhale and float that right leg up in tabletop, and then inhale, lower it down. Staying on that right side, inhale, float it up, exhale, lower down. Making sure you're initiating your breath before your movement. And if you're comfortable that your abs are engaged, you can drop your hand off to the side. Two more. Good, last one, leave it up, lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. You're gonna extend the right leg, left arm, and then resist to bend it in. And again, you can always pop your right arm, your right arm hand onto your abdominals here, making sure your hips are nice and square, you're not pouring all of your weight into one side or the other. Three more. Two. And last one. And then lower the left arm and then lower the right leg. Switching over to the left side, bring that left leg up in tabletop and then tap it down. And resist to bring it up. We have some baby noise background here. Lifting up and lower down. Four more. Really thinking about initiating that movement by just lifting and lowering the thigh. Don't worry about the rest of your leg. Two. And last one, that distance between your ribs and your hips is staying the same. Float the right arm up and then extend the left arm, left leg rather, right arm, and then bring it back in. And then extend overhead and bring it in for four. Three. Two. And last one. Float the right arm down. Leave the left leg where it is. Take an inhale. And then on your exhale, <laughs> float that right leg up to meet it. Drop your heels so that you're in a nice tabletop. If your knees are slightly past 90 degrees and not at a perfect 90, that's totally fine. Bring them where you need them to be. From here, you're going to open both legs out to the side keeping the distance between you and your thighs the same and then resist to bring them back in. So let them fall open out to the side and then resist to bring it back in. Feel the lift of that pelvic floor, the wrap of your abdominals all through the center as that comes in. Think the initiation of the in comes from those inner thighs. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Pause with your legs in, float both arms up. You're going to open up your right arm, left leg, and then bring it in. Switching sides. So you're doing right arm leading and then left arm leading. Keeping yourself nice and square, not ro uh, rocking through the hips. Once more to each side. 
pause at the top. Right arm, right leg. Bring it in. Left arm, left leg. And again. Isolating just one side and then the other. You may find you need to change your range of motion here. One more time to each side. Good. Last one over to the left. Bring the knees together, lower the arms down. Externally rotate and bring the knees all the way in. If you need to give yourself a little rock back and forth from one side to the other here, that's totally fine. Glue those heels together, externally rotate, open from the thighs, hands press into the floor, and you're gonna extend those legs up towards the ceiling, draw your inner thighs towards one another, and then resist to bring it back down. And then press up. Again, you can bring your hand onto your abdominals here, you wanna make sure that they're not pressing out towards the ceiling, that you're well engaged, ribs are wrapping, back ribs are heavy. You're not arching. Good, and then if you can, take it out to a slight angle. Again, the lower your legs go towards the floor, the harder this will be, but harder isn't always better. You wanna be connected, that's better. Two more. Last one. Pause with your legs long and now internally, or not internally, rotate them to parallel. You're gonna lower your legs two or three inches away from you and bring them back in, lower away. And you can bend your knees here if you need to do this, or you can have your heels all the way by your butt. Those are your different options. Four more. Think about your sitting bones being heavy and reaching long as you bring those legs back in, so you're finding that opposition. Three. Two, and last one. Bend those knees in, grab onto your kneecaps with your hands. Let your tailbone be nice and heavy. You may find a little space in your low back. And you're just gonna make circles with those knees. Good, like you're stirring a pot with your femurs and then reverse your circle. And your back can move here. You don't need to stay in a fixed spot. Once more. Good, bring your legs back up into tabletop. You can bring your hands behind your head here. Inhale, exhale, slide your ribs towards your chest. Abdominals sink down, they should not be pushing up. And you're gonna extend your right leg and then bring it back in. Extend your left leg, bring it back in. Good, keep drawing those ribs towards your hips moving nice and slowly, really staying connected through the upper body. Two more. Last one to each side. Shoulder blades can lift gently off the mat if that feels good for you. Pause here. You're gonna extend both legs and then bring your torso up as you bring your knees into your chest. So extend long, you stay lifted, and then bring everything in. Four more. Really deepen that connection as you bring the legs and torso in. Two. Gaze stays at your feet so you're not arching through that upper spine. Last one. Good, bring the knees in. Take a nice gentle rock from one side to the other. And then you're gonna roll over onto your right side. Good. You can bring your hand under your head to start. Knees are stacked one in line with the other, and you're in a nice long line with your spine. So you don't want your hips way far forward or way far back. And then your head is in line with your spine. You're just gonna lift your leg up to hip height and then extend it long, finding that opening through the hip, and then resist to bring it back in line with that other leg. And then extend long, find that connection through the abdominals. Two more. And last one, leave the leg long. And you're gonna externally rotate and internally rotate. And externally rotate and internally rotate. Three more, external and internal coming from the top of that leg. Two. Last one, bring that leg in on top of the other, rest it down. Bring your right arm long in front of you. Your left arm is gonna come behind your head. Your head can be gently lifted off the ground and really support your head with that left hand. And then you're just gonna take a nice twist here wherever you go, but you wanna think about opening 
through the chest rather than just dropping the shoulder. That's why that hand is behind your head. Take a nice big inhale. Think about breathing into those top ribs. You can bring your hand onto your rib if that's helpful. And then exhale, find a little bit more opening. Relax the shoulder on that left side. Again, focus on that 360 breath. And then come all the way forward. And then we're just going to do that two more times without staying. And again, your head can rest on the ground. Knees stay stuck. And just notice if you have a little bit more range of motion. And then you're going to bring your left hand to the ground and push yourself all the way up. You're going to come onto your other side now. So swing your legs around or just roll all the way over your choice. You're going to have your head in line with your spine, knees in line with your hips, just about. If they're a little bit below, that's fine. And hips are stacked. Find that you're, you have that space, whether or not it's actual space, just the thought that your rib and hip are connected, you're not pressing them away and sinking into that side. So reach from that top hip, have your shoulder right underneath you so you're nice and stacked, both the hips and the shoulders. And you're gonna lift that top leg up and then reach it long, find that extension through the hip here. Ribs are drawn in, pelvic floor lifted, resist and bring that leg in. And then extend it long and bring it in. Four more. Nice and slow, like you have a rubber band from the heel to the sitting bone. You don't wanna snap yourself in the back of the leg. Two. And last one. Bring that leg in and rest it down on top of your top leg. Lift that leg up, extend it long, pause here. And then you're gonna externally rotate and internally rotate. And externally rotate and internally rotate. Four more. Three. Keeping that leg still, rotation coming from the top of that leg. Two. And last one. Bend that knee and rest it on top of the other leg. Let me finish this. I need three minutes, baby. Okay? Just three. So now you're going to reach your left arm underneath you, bring your right hand behind your head, and again, you can rest that head on the hand or on the floor, rather, not in your hand, or just support it with your hand to start. Hips and uh, knees are going to stay stacked, and you're going to open up towards that right side, finding that space and stretch through the right, through that back. You can always bring your left hand onto your right rib cage and take a big inhale. Think about breathing into the back on that left side, on the, sorry, just into your back. And then also into that top rib cage. Relax the shoulder. And then come all the way back. And then we're gonna do two more, just seeing if that range of motion maybe increased a little bit. This should feel nice. And last one. Good, and now press yourself up. Keep your legs off to the right. And you're gonna grab onto your shins with the right hand and then reach up and over with the left. But first, reach up tall and then reach up and over. Really get that stretch all the way down into the obliques, into the hip. One more inhale. Exhale a little farther. And then come all the way up. Spin your legs around to the other side. Left hand to left shin. Reach that right arm up. Find a little bit of extra space and length. And then side bend up and over. Relax those shoulders. One more breath in, and exhale. Good, lower that arm all the way down. Come onto all fours quickly. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. 
tuck the tailbone under, round the spine up towards the ceiling. Take a nice big stretch here. Uncurl the spine, lengthen through the front of your body in slight extension. And then as you round back, press back into a child's pose. And then reach your hands forward as your hips reach back. Let your forehead come onto the ground. Take a nice big inhale, really focusing on breathing into your back ribs. And then exhale, let it go, sink down towards the floor. One more breath in. And exhale, and you are all finished. Thanks.